Hi guys, Scott Flint here from Fitness Box and I've got your uh, weekly workout for today. So today is a bit more of a strength workout. Uh, we're going to be doing two exercises, uh, one being a chin up or a lat pull down. So we're going to start with a lat pull down and then the second exercise is going to be a goblet squat. So I've got Ryan here, my uh, beautiful assistant, uh, to show us how to do our lat pull down. So what's going to happen, Ryan's going to take hold of the, the bar just wide of shoulder width and then he's going to sit down into the machine and then pads we want resting on his legs. He's then just going to lean back just slightly, keeping his shoulders down, so he's going to retract his shoulders. As he pulls down, he's going to push his chest up towards the bar and then he'll then release. So we just want to make sure we pause at the bottom, so we're coming down, good squeeze, pause and then release. Just make sure it's nice and controlled um, when we lower that weight as well. Okay, so that's our, our lat pull down. So with the chin up, um, similar hand position to the lat pull down. Uh, so hands just wide of that shoulder width and then from here we want full extension okay keeping the shoulders down really pulling through the lat so he's going to pull up leading up with that chest and then lower down so he's got the slight pause at the top and then nice and controlled down very similar to, to the lat pull down as far as we're pausing the top of the movement okay so that's our, our chin up next exercise would then be our goblet squat so with the goblet squat we're going to take our uh, regular squat stance, so feet between hip and shoulder width, toes out slightly, and then we're holding on to the, the kettlebell with the weight facing the ceiling, so thumbs are through, weights facing the ceiling, elbows in nice and tight in our front rack position, so then Ryan will squat, aiming to get hips just below knees, and then full extension at the top, okay? Keep the kettlebell nice and close to you, um, we don't want to let that kettlebell drift away, otherwise that's going to put more pressure on our back. So the closer we can keep it to our body, the more vertical you're going to be, uh, the less pressure there is on the back. Alright, so that's our, our goblet squat. So we'll spin around, just go through the, the actual workout. So with the workout, select either a chin up or a lat pull down. So obviously if you can't do a chin up, then, then go the lat pull down. Um, but you're going to do five repetitions. As soon as you've done five repetitions, you'll then go in with the kettlebell and you're going to do 10 repetitions with the goblet squat. Then you'll rest for between 45 to 60 seconds and then you have five sets of that. So it's going to be a tough one. If you get the weights right, it's going to be a tough one. So we want to make sure the weight uh, is a real struggle at those last sort of two or three reps. Okay? I don't want you to do 10 and then go straight back into your, your chin up or your lat pull down. It needs to be heavy enough that you need that rest. Okay, so it's a good little strength one, nice, short and sharp, but um, it'll make you sting, so good luck and have fun.